A cross-section of Nigerians have reacted with mingled relief and indifference to the government's decision to lift the ban on Twitter. They said nothing was really missed on the social media platform as many Nigerians stayed stay connected via virtual private networks VPN. The government had said that the U.S. social media giant had agreed to establish a local office among other conditions set by the West African nation, which led to the, to the lifting of the ban. Twitter said it was pleased with its restoration in Nigeria and was deeply committed to the country. It did really change so much for my social life because I was still able to, to interact with a lot of people on Twitter who were using VPN. But the challenge, uh, I would say, was that um, there's also a significant number of people who felt reluctant to use VPNs or probably didn't know how to go about it because they are not so tech savvy and others were maybe scared that um, if you see them with a VPN, um, police might harass, you know, and all that. So there's a group of people who were alienated because of um, the ban. And so it wasn't a complete community like it was prior to the ban. To me, I am really happy about it because I saw it last night and I, I must say I was really happy about it. Most of us have been using VPN. It, it didn't really stop most of us from tweeting, but we, we're tweeting with fear, you know. But now we can tweet freely and we can air our voice freely. I just feel our voice has been given back to us. I'm not happy, neither am I excited for them uplifting the ban. Because Twitter, in time past, it has helped so many people to advertise their businesses. So what's the need of lifting the ban when they've already caused so many damages to people's business? So me, I'm not excited and some persons are not so excited. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.